everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you're here today. Um, I'm just going to show you a piece I did a while back. It was actually, I'm not sure if you saw my last video with my whole studio set up, this whole area. I, I just, I showed everything and I was fiddling with the lights um, quite a while. And I, um, this one I'm going to show you today is one that I didn't show you in my last video. Like I did a few that, but like I was adjusting the lights and trying and then I adjust the lights again. Anyway, <laughs> um, the video would have ended up being like an hour long and I know nobody, nobody would have wanted to watch that. So um, I saved one here and I, I might have another couple that my next couple videos will be ones that would have been during that time. So the lighting is good, but not perfect. And then after that, I'll get back to some, or start some, start some ones with extra good lighting. So give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the, the, the pour. I'm going to do an open cup for this one and um, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little of this white on here to start. This is just a regular white by Saks. It's just a generic brand. It's mixed how I mix everything. There's a link to a video in my description of my recipe if you want to look at that. Where is my torch? I think I'll cover this whole thing just in case. I have this little pack of, a sort of pack of, or it's uh, cookie cutters actually. Dollarama, my favorite store. <laughs> I'm gonna use, I'll use a couple. Let's pop these bubbles first. That should be enough. I normally would like to have all of my paints in um, little cups so I could show easier. So I'm going to start with this That was thalo blue We'll go with some metallic white uh, Let's go with this Deco Art Neon Pink I got this Deco Art 24 karat gold isn't that beautiful? So I'm showing you in the container because once it's mixed up with the glue and stuff, it's not quite as vibrant while it's wet. Once it dries, it's gonna look just like this. Let's go with some Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft. I have a little iridescent pouring medium in it. Silver. Some purple. Green, yellow. All right, let's, uh, I think I'm gonna use some silver. gold around this one. Hoping that's not too much gold. So what I'm doing here is just lifting it up a tiny little bit just to let the paint come out from underneath it. Just just a tiny bit, not all at once. And I'm giving it a slight little twist at the same time. I'm gonna make this exciting and put silicone in two of them. Maybe, maybe the pink. I'm just gonna put a little in this little container here. The pink and maybe the phthalo blue. Just a tiny bit. Give it a little stir, not too much. I don't want the cells to be super small. All right, now let's go back to metallic white. I'm 
I'm just adding small amounts, just, it's kind of random. I usually try to go light, dark, light, dark, like that, and just kind of put whatever in there. When the cup is full, I just let it out slowly, a little bit at a time, and then keep refilling. Isn't that pretty so far? Well, I don't want to bore you, so I'm just going to speed this up a little and add some music, but I'm just kind of doing the same thing. I just alternate my by light, dark, light, dark, fill up the cups, lift it slightly off the canvas and give it a little twist. You don't have to give it a twist, but I find it makes this nice swirly design you're seeing here. And then I just keep filling until I think I have enough. So Now I always like to give it a torch before I do any tilting, um, but this I really like to do when I'm using silicone because it will help to stretch the cells. Like, so the torch will bring the cells up and then you tilt it and it stretches them out. I'm going to speed this up a tiny bit for you just to make it a little more fun. Don't forget the corners. And give it a scrape under the edge. Get rid of that paint. All right, let's have a look. I'm pretty happy with this. That silicone made some extra, extra cool cells here. Um, I mean, you're getting cells with all the colors, but I only put it in two of the colors like you saw. Um, sometimes if you put it in all of them, it's just going to make it way too many and you kind of want a little contrast, like areas with no cells and then areas with cells kind of looks better. Otherwise, it's just all circles. <laughs> um, so th this gold, like the iridescent gold and the silver are really going to be shimmery when that dries, especially if you put it under light. And you're seeing this um, kind of through the center... <clears throat> this uh, gold and white it's gold white and silver there and that's kind of where I where I put that around the cups if you remember that part and then it kind of gives it it just gives it a little extra contrast kind of something fun you can do so let me know what you think do you like these colors do you like the technique design let me know in the comments if you hate it tell me that too it's all good I'm always open to suggestions, comments, ideas, or if there's anything you want me to experiment and try to save yourself from doing it, I'm definitely open to that too. Just let me know. And I, I do commission work as well. Just send me an email at the address on the screen and I will put that in the description for you too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.